I was in a relationship that was quite toxic, but I didn't know that it was toxic. I listened to one song and that song, the lyrics of the song gave me the energy, gave me the strength, the courage to leave the relationship. And I'd like to share that with you today. The song is by a band called Archive. It's a British band. They did an album, I think in the early 2000s called You All Look The Same To Me. And one of the songs on there is called Again. I'd like to read the lyrics to you and then I will comment them. You're tearing me apart, crushing me inside. You used to lift me up, now you get me down. If I was to walk away from you, my love, could I laugh again? So this song really helped me put words to things I was feeling. Just the ability to say, you're tearing me apart, crushing me inside. There was the feeling I had in the relationship. And then as he sings, you used to lift me up, now you get me down. That was really comparing the love bombing phase, the beginning. And then when things got weird and I didn't understand why. Just the ability to hear the words express the different stages and just put the words on it. You used to lift me up. Now you get me down. Just saying that was so empowering because it was truth. It was reality. And I guess the singer who wrote the song probably was talking about a toxic relationship. But the main thing in the song was the chorus when he sings, if I was to walk away from you, my love, could I smile again? Could I laugh again? That was really the feeling I had was constant heaviness, an inability to smile, an inability to laugh, an inability to feel happiness. It was just constantly heavy. There are a variety of reasons, dynamics, exes floating around, unhealthy behaviors. Now I realize it's probably something histrionic, a lot of behavior with other people that seemed inappropriate to me and seemed perfectly appropriate to her. Who knows who was right objectively? It isn't the question. Her behavior worked for her. It didn't work for me. I expressed why she didn't care. She didn't want to change. So I either had to live with behavior that seemed inappropriate to me and uncomfortable to me, or I had to leave. And I knew that if I stayed, I would not be able to smile. I would not be able to laugh. I would not be able to be happy. It made it also easier to project myself in the future and think if I were to have children with this person, what would that be like? Would I really want to be a father who's constantly down, who isn't really feeling happy? What would that show the children? Then also, can I really trust this person? One specific detail was that I knew that I would not want my children to be anywhere around her exes, but her exes were omnipresent in her life, often in rather uncomfortable ways. Of course, now I know better to just walk away from it. So I was imagining what would happen if we had children? Would I be able to forbid her to introduce my children to these people whom I severely disliked? Of course not. But I would know all these people near my children, so that was impossible. I even mentioned it to her, and she said that she didn't see where the problem was. And I pointed out to her that it might be the case, but it didn't solve my problem. I did not like these people. I would not want them around my children. I didn't really like them around her. But also, the way she described them to me, they all seemed like idiots. And so it's a bit disconcerting when you are with someone and you think everyone, the person selected in the past appears to be an idiot. Well, what does that say about me? Am I also an idiot? Why would she be all of a sudden interested in someone who doesn't appear to be an idiot? She said I was so much better than the others. Maybe nonetheless, she was in relationships with these people and she continued to hang out with them. And every time she met them, it wasn't clear that the relationship was truly over. It could be that they wished for something that might be the case, but there was something about the dynamic which was uncomfortable. Where seen from the outside, I'd imagine that they were a couple and not that they were someone's ex. Being in this situation, indeed, it's difficult to imagine. Yes, in the future, I would be able to laugh. I would be able to smile. Of course, it's possible to write this off as being jealousy, but jealousy is one of these difficult emotions. Jealousy sort of implies that one person is being unreasonable. And so if you're a bit introspective, you might think that probably you are the problem being unreasonable. That might be the case. Nonetheless, I would suggest in these situations, regardless of the label, just think if we project ourselves in the future, how do we see things? 
Do we picture ourselves smiling, laughing, being happy, or does it seem like a terrible weight on our shoulders? So I remember driving to see her to break up and listening to this song and just keeping on thinking, I want to be happy in the future. I have not been happy for months. Things are getting worse. I don't see things changing. When we talk about the future, it doesn't inspire confidence. So I don't want to go on this way. It was heartbreaking for me to end the relationship. And I knew that letting go of her was my only hope to be able to smile again.